The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, handsome Rell in the building, what's my guy. What's, what's up, what's up, gang? What's going on? How are you? You know what? I, you know, I just realized you're wearing my favorite pair of ones too. Oh man, these right here. Yeah, I got them shits at the crib. I just don't wear them too much because they green, and I'm afraid to mess them up. Oh, <laughs> I go man. lie. You got the favorite color twelves, man. You got all oh, your taxis. Of course, those are the best. Come on, bro. What's popping? Yeah, you know how I go. How you feeling? One day at a time. That's the only way I can take it. You've been saying that all the whole time you've been here. The only way we could take it. One day at a time. Is that your thing? That's my thing. One day at a time. It's my thing. I like that. I'm the same way. Like, everybody's like, yo, like, yeah. what you do? I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm just, <laughs> just, I'm just trying to get to midnight tonight. One day at a time. <laughs> what you been up to lately? How's life been, bro? Slow motion, man. Working on this album, taking care of family, making sure everything is right. When I was like learning about you and preparing for this interview, I noticed that like, so you've been doing music for a while, but like you really started dropping in like 2021. Yeah. But like even further back than that, right? Like you had worked with like Khaled and a bunch of other people, yeah. so I want to I want this like broken down, right? So like back when you were working, you weren't really releasing music like that back when you were mm -hmm. working with Khaled, right? So what was going on back then? Like what was like what were you at musically back then that you know eventually led like years down the road to actually releasing? I was playing college basketball at PBCC, and um, one of my fellow friends, Omar Go Getter, he's one of the top promoters in Miami. And um, he took a liking into my music, and he felt like I should rap. So, you know, he brought my talent down there to DJ Khaled. Khaled did the mixtape, and, you know, I had to, I ran through one of the stumbles, had to go turn myself in for prison, you know, lost my deal. Mm. So you had a deal at one point. Yeah, yeah. Was there a lot of music on, like, well, obviously back, what year was that that that, that was going That on? was like in 09, 08. So like kind of beginning of like the streaming era, buying yeah. music on, on iTunes. Yeah. So there's Before like a bunch that. of old mu older music out there. Yeah. Bunch of music. Bunch how long music. did you how long were you gone for? I was gone for at that time I was gone for two years and a half. Mm. Yeah. So when you came back, right, after you know, like you said, like the deal and all that kind of went away, like where were you at when you came back? Because obviously you didn't you weren't, you know, fully in the musical space at that point either. I wasn't I took a little a little break off of music, you know, mm -hmm. started trying to get my money together. Life issues. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I had to bounce back. One day at a time. One day at a time. <laughs> I got you. I got definitely, you. definitely. One day at a time. And we got it together, you know. Life is beautiful, mm. I must say. Mentally, like, where were you at during those years, too? Because obviously, like, with music, you know, you're not playing ball anymore. Yeah. Music also being, like, up there and, like, with your loves, like... Yeah. You not being able to do either or, like, where where were you mentally during that time with just trying to, I guess, get back on your feet from being locked up? My boy, Damo Mayo. Um, shout out to Damo Mayo. Yeah. I was playing music to him in the car, and he was like, yo, I'm going to take you to this hookah spot. I'm going to go introduce you to Mayo. And um, Mayo heard my music. We locked in from... They're on from KOB three, KOB two, mm. on all the way to now to the point where I got two songs on this album, Die a Legend. Yep. And we working. Right. So Mano kinda did Mano serve as like that mentor figure yeah. in a way, once yeah, you kinda were trying to get back on your feet. Took me on tour with him. Mm. I opened up on the tours with for him. And, you know, at the end of the day I started I appreciated him for that because it right. gave me an opportunity for a lot. And it just went off to the races from there. Right, right. How, how, like, in in what ways? Besides, of course, the touring and stuff. But like, even musically speaking, and how did he, I guess, help mold or help shape one the music that you're making now, but also you as an artist? Because you know, at that point, you kind of, I'm assuming, you're still like a little green with a lot of stuff because you, yeah. you know, you're just getting back to yeah. it, right? And everything has changed since you know you last were really focusing on music. So how did I guess? How did he help kind of elevate you and and help you grow? And and what did you learn from those experiences being on tour and being with him? Don't take no for no answer. Mm. Stand on business, and you know a lot of my. A lot of people that have been to prison, they know what it's like to be humble. They know what it's like not to have it. 
and they know what it's like to go get it. So guys like Mano, guys like Champ, we're not taking no for no answer. It's grind hard or just don't do it at all. And that's mm-hmm. what Maine preached to me every time. Stand on business. Go get go go get your go chase your dreams because right. ain't nobody gonna give it to you. Right. And that was cool because like Champ be podcasting, you yeah. be potting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mano be on uh, on Ye Show. Yeah. Like I like seeing shit like that because yeah. like you know outside of the music too. Yeah. You gonna be potting soon? Nah, no, no time soon. No <clears throat> I'm sure. I'm sure they all said that at some point. <laughs> yeah. No time soon. Next thing you know, you gonna have you gonna have you know one of these mics and you gonna be <laughs> yeah. you gonna be asking questions. You are gonna be chopping it up. Definitely. I mean. But right now the focus is music. Yeah. Right. But you had dropped Victory, so that was like kind of like the first like real kind of release back. Like that you know was what I'm a, saying? Oh man, Victory was like that was my first piece of artwork. And that album meant a lot to me because I put all my loved ones in my face mm-hmm. and I got friends that ain't here today. And I got friends that ain't here today. Mm-hmm. Meaning as some of this is in a grave and some is in a cage. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, that album meant a lot to me. Because I got a lot out, and now here comes Story of My Life. Story of My Life is a new joint that we're working on. That's the new joint. Feels like, like um, you know, when I was like tuned into Victory, and even you know now, Story of My Life is coming out. Like it's all very like autobiographical pieces yeah. of work from you. Yeah, it's not just kind of like all right, I'm gonna make some like you know some club hits. Ah, uh, yeah. like they in there, but it's yeah. more the focus is more like you're just storytelling. Yeah. Storytelling is the best. Everybody love a movie. Gotta give it to them. Right. Every shot. The best rappers tell movies. Yeah. You were te- you were all you know, you mentioned about how like you had all your friends with you, even the ones that are here. Yeah. Not not here physically, but also not here because they're locked up, yeah. right? Um, do you feel like the weight was lifted off your shoulders after victory? Of course. Of course. Not really. I mean, scale one through ten, it got lifted probably like a six. But it can never be all the way lifted. Nah, hell no, nah. hell no. No, that's pain. Right. Were you able to get the project to them, to the people who were locked up? Uh, some of them. Some of them, okay. Yeah, one of them listened to the whole album on his way to his mother's funeral. Wow. Yeah. So he told them the people that was transporting him. He told them all he wanted to do is listen to my album all the way to his mom's funeral. And they let him out. He got 33 to life. Wow. Yeah. But they let him play the project. Let him play the whole project nonstop. That's crazy. Yeah. It's beautiful, too, in yeah. its own way. In its own way. Yeah. How, how does it feel when you get those, like, type of stories about your, like, because um, I'm, I'm sort of like, that for you, too, is like someone listening to the, choose until, you know, I feel like a lot of people drive in silence yeah. you know, when, when burying somebody, but, like. Kind of getting that story too is like, yo, like on my way to my mom's funeral, the only person who I wanted to hear from yeah. was you. Anson Rao. Um, my other man just DM me and said that he listened to my album to get through his days for three days in a row. Hmm. Right or wrong, he said I listened to Hanson Rao for three days in a row and it get me through my day for me going through my stress, my drama. Hmm. And me, I look at it as... Um, we on to something. Right. We touching. We touching people. Whether it's one person, two person, five person, it's gonna get there. Yeah. Shout out my boy La Russell. La Russell always says he's like, yo, if you got one stream, if you got even one view, one stream yeah. in a day, he's like, you're already more successful than you were yesterday. Something, Man. something along those lines. He ain't lie. Right. He ain't lie. I love them type of rappers, man. Them, them rappers right there is beautiful, man. Russell Ray Vaughn. My boy oh, Nick yeah, Grant. Is tough. Ravon is fire. Yeah. yeah. Nick Grant is awesome, man. That's one of my guys, too. I listen to all of them guys, man. With this new project, right? Um, is it only you on it? You got people on it with you? Like what? We got tough. Crotch Calhoun on there. Tough. We got Mano on there. We're trying to squeeze Fab on there. We're trying to squeeze them on there, but we're working on Wait, something. Wait on some last minute shit. Yeah, we're working on it. Um, we got a few surprises on there. And what's the date for the project? We reaching for November twentieth, but okay. I feel like we should go single for single. So we gonna build it up. 
I like how you actually have like a date in mind that's two months from now. Yeah. It's not just like, oh, we're gonna see what happens. Like you actually have like a date. Yeah, I got a lot a of date. artists never have a date. Never. They just like, oh, you know, when it comes, it comes. And then you're like, nah, yeah. my deadline, my deadline to draw to to turn the project in is fucking, I don't know, whatever, like November 13th, yeah. whatever it would be, and it's gotta drop on the 20th. That, Gabe, that's what you call standing on business. Bring right back to that. <laughs> right. Which is funny because a lot of artists don't really like I said, a lot of artists will come up here, they'll be like, Yeah, it's coming. I don't really yeah. have a date yet. It's like fake done, but yeah. I don't have a date. And yeah. I'm like, but if it's almost done, like you might as well just put a date on it. You gotta drop some shit yeah. for people to stay tuned in. Album is done. We just waiting for the features. Okay. Yeah. About it. Do you feel like that this is like you know like how I mentioned like the autobiographical storytelling? Like, is this also like how is this different from the last one? Like, what what's the context of this project? Like, what are you talking about on this that you weren't really this one is on the last one. Hmm. This one is more like. Last album, Victory, was basically all for all my loved ones, how I got through the pain. Mm -hmm. This one is about me, story of my life, talking about what I'm going through daily, what I've been through in my life, and how I'm going through it, and how I'm getting through it. And um, by the, God is just beautiful because I have some strong people around me now, yeah. and I get to talk about it, story of my life. I get to talk about how I moved my mother out the projects. She mm -hmm. don't live there no more. Um, overcoming a lot. You know, family stuff. November 20th. November. Day by day. Man, one day at a time. One day at a time. The only way we could take it. Right. So after that, like, you know, because there's been a big gap between the two projects. Two years. Yeah. Right? Are you going to... Is it is a consistency a thing that you'd be thinking about now? Like yeah. I should be more consistent with releasing music. I'm thinking or... about dropping every three months. Okay, because you did mention the artists that you mentioned before. Yeah, like you have Rayvon, he don't really drop yeah. as much, but then you got someone like La Russell yeah. that we were just talking about who like drops like every two months. Man, <laughs> it's a machine. I just got he texted me today. He's like, new yeah. album out now. If you want to buy it, <laughs> I'm like, respectfully. <laughs> I was like, and he was just here two days ago talking yeah. to me about the project. I'm like, I, I respect that type of hustle. Yeah. Ground hard. I'm, I'm right back with them. Every three months, every two months, nothing. I do that all day. Right. More pro is, Are we talking about like three months of, every three months of project or every three months like a single? Every three months of project. Okay, okay. We're going to go project style. Right. So you really want to be in front of everybody's faces now? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Word. Yeah. Story of my life. We want now. Rich Can't Kings. Wait. Power circle. I can't wait, bro. Man, I appreciate you. I well, can't wait to show you. Well, by the time the people see this, uh, freestyle and performance out now. Um, yeah. So go check those out. November Definitely. 20th is the date. So make sure you save that date. Story of my life. Story of my life in advance, just so y'all know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If, if it's not November 20th, we'll make sure we fix that. Definitely. Um, so go check out those videos out now. Um, yes, sir. Go check out Victory. That's been out. Great body of work. So go run that up Appreciate before you. the new album come out. Um, before we get up out of here, uh, anything else you want to let the people know, where they can follow you at, all that good stuff. Now is the time to do it. This camera right here. I am Handsome Rail, Instagram. Rich Kings is the movement. Power Circle is the label. What's up? There you go. Appreciate you, Gabe. Well, make sure you go check out uh, the project when it's out. Go check out Victory. Go run up everything he has out now. Go run up the freestyle. Go run up the performance. Uh, make sure you go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all already knew that. Till next time, Handsome Rel on the radar. We out. Bow. My guy. Love.